Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and I'm finally back. I'm back, and I'm bringing you guys a fishing video today. Today, I'm heading off to Lake Ida, and I'm not too sure if it's post spawn or like spawn right now, but I'm pretty sure it's post spawn. I'm gonna be targeting um, more of the invasive species like peacock bass and cichlid and tilapia. Maybe, I guess, a, um, I'm mostly just trying to get like something like beautiful. Not like a, well, not saying largemouth aren't. But something different, like a peacock or mine cichlid, uh, Oscar, something like something like that. Okay, so um, it's like late afternoon right now. It's kind of hot out, which is pretty, which is very good for um, for peacock bass. Let me see what time it is. What's the temperature outside? It's currently 78. So it's degrees. 78 degrees outside. Perfectly sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I'm gonna start to try to post a lot. So. I'll show you guys what I'm working with when we get to the spot. So let's go. Okay, made it here at Lake Ida. I'm starting off in this little bank right here that you guys can't see, but let me pick up the camera and show you guys. Okay, you can't really see much because of all the trees, but this is where I'm going to be fishing. This is my first start, and then I'm going to make it all the, my, my way down because that's the main lake right here. This huge big area, and then I'm gonna make my way down that bank. So first, let's start over here, and let me grab all my stuff. I have two rods with me. I'm gonna show you what I'm throwing, my bag, and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so it's kind of actually hard to film. Let me make my way through this. It's actually kind of hard to film because I have my rods in one hand, but there's this guy actually fishing on the bank I have, so it's gonna be a little awkward filming. But I have my. I can't show you my GoPro. All right, I can't do that. That's not gonna happen. But I have my GoPro, so. I saw you just caught a bass too, so hopefully I'm just going to use my GoPro and let me go set my stuff down and get to fishing and I'll switch to the GoPro. Okay, so this is the bank I'm fishing from, that's the guy right there, and looks, so this is what I'm going to start off at, and so I'm going to switch to the GoPro right about, I really hope that worked, I have a feeling that did not work at all. The um, rooster tail on here right now. Make sure my drag is all set. Last time I came here, hooked up on a fish and my drag wasn't set. It's the first cast. Super glad. I'm this like spinning setup. Imagine if I just get a fish first um, cast, I'll be so stoked. But there's a guy right over there. And I remember he just caught a bass. I just saw him. So, is that a fish? I saw something just walk over. There's so many bugs. This is what I hate about Lake Dida. Only bad part. Great fishing, but. Stuff like this, it sucks. All the, it's so recreational. Am I hooked? How did I get hooked? No way. What, the, are you serious? I'm trying not to fall in the water here. This is my only. Oh, there we go. Got to get that good angle. So when this stuff like that does happen, where you get your lure stuck, you always just don't want to just did don't do what I did like at the first. Cause just try to work around like whatever structure. Try to work around whatever structure. Um, that is like you got your thing stuck. Huh? Uh, sometimes. How long have you been here? 2.30. 2 .30. Have you got any? Four. Four? Uh, three large crappie. Okay. Oh, crappie? Yeah, large crappie. Okay. I remember I pulled up, I saw you had a fish. Yeah. I used, uh, I just switched to the worm because I was using an X-Rap. Oh, I have an X-Rap. I actually have that tied on to my yeah. other rod. See if there's any fish right here.
I got weeds. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, oh I think it's a peacock. Oh, let's go. Stay on. It's a big largemouth. He's pretty big. Yo. Oh. Oh. He loosened up my drag a little bit, guys. Pretty, he's like a three pounder. Come on, I'm gonna have to get in the water to land this. Guys, so I'm in the car right now. On the way home, I'm watching the footage of when I caught that fish. I said, Look at everything. My GoPro cut right when I was about to get in the water. I get in the water, like I like run to the water and I just throw him up on the bank. He was like, But he was hooked good, I couldn't tell. But he was hooked like on the top of his like lip. I'm so mad right now. That sucks, but I at least you guys still saw most of the fight. Cause that's when he got caught up in the weeds and I ran in the water and got him, but it sucks. It sucks. Okay guys, so my GoPro just cut off. But here's this toad off of X Rap. I'm gonna hold on, let me set the camera down and I'm gonna go wash him off real quick. Cause he's all dirty when I threw up on the threw him up on the bank. Alright, so here he's probably like a four pounder guys. But one day I don't have my skill, like the one day I don't have my skill. <laughs> so, let's go and get this release. That's the size of a Kessel bed. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here. Oh, what wrong with you? There he goes. That was a nice one right there. Caught him off the X-Wrap right over here. Just doing, just with that, uh, Grab that I said earlier, a slower retrieve. Exactly what I did. He's probably like a three and a half, four. So I'm stoked about that. My GoPro just turned off. I have no clue why. But uh, let's get back to fishing. Let me go. I'll see if like my, my storage. I'll have another SD card with me, so that's a good thing. But um, I'm sound stoked. That was a nice fish. Um, so yeah, let's get back to fishing. So we just found this snake in the water. Oh, there you go. Probably a water mox. Oh, it's definitely a water mox. That's pretty cool. Guys, I'm calling it a day. I'm skunked. It was really slow out here today. Not a lot of people were catching fish. It was a very, very slow day. Packing up. Super hot. Florida has been so hot lately, guys. Um, ooh, so I'm gonna slam the door on this, but today I'm back. I'm back, guys. Just know I'm okay. Sorry for not. I'm gonna try to upload every week or so. I'm gonna try to go fishing, do something every week for you guys. But Lake Ida is a beautiful place, and I rec definitely recommend it for you guys to come out here and check it out. I'll see you guys next time. This is another episode of SEFF TV, and I need an outro, guys. I'm a vlogger, dude. I'm a vlogger.